Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas Reddy. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss about VLOOKUP with multiple shades. Already we discussed about what is VLOOKUP, what is HLOOKUP, VLOOKUP with multiple columns and what are the arguments and exact match in the VLOOKUP in the previous sessions. Friends, before coming to this video, you have to know exactly what is VLOOKUP, what are the arguments in the VLOOKUP, how it is working. So then only you are able to understand this concept. Now we'll see what is VLOOKUP with multiple sheets with an example. So friends, first I'm taking some sample data. We need multiple sheets of data. In that, we'll search for the lookup value where it is exactly from all the sheets it takes uh, by using VLOOKUP function. So friends, first we'll take multiple sheets of data. We'll search based on the lookup value in all the sheets and it will take automatically that match with data. See here, like uh, first imply ID, imply name, then uh, we'll take some IDs like uh, 101, 102, so select it. I'm taking just sample data, few rows and columns only. Next, uh, imply 01, just select it. And uh, from this, and this select some data, copy and paste here. Again, go to sheet one here. Select the data, copy, paste in the sheet four. Just I'm taking only headings. Say here I'm giving employee ID 106 and delete this extra data. See, there is a data in the sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. So in the sheet 4, based on the lookup value, just I wanted to take the employee name. Here, instead of taking huge amount of data, I am taking a sample data. So this formula, we can apply for any huge amount of data also. See friends, first, for this 106, just I want to know where it is in the sheet 1 or sheet 2 or sheet 3. Just we have to compare it. We have to compare in you know, all the sheets in which sheet the value is matching corresponding that columns we have to take here by using VLOOKUP. So already we know what is VLOOKUP is equal to VLOOKUP. See the arguments are very important. Lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup. So there are four arguments. Okay, first three are required and the last one is optional argument. So lookup value, table array, column index number, range lookup, just we have to take and we'll find out the employee name for 1R6. And here, just we have to check in all three sheets. Then you can go for first of all if condition or else if error. When I'm using if error, when I'm using if error in case if there is any error or else the value is not matching then we can able to write uh, that error message also instead of errors we'll write our own error messages uh, by using if error function see there is a value value means we're able to write the formula value if error means you can write any error message uh, see inside if error write the vlookup function vlookup say lookup value 106 106 means that is a to cell so first we'll search that 106 that a2 cell is there in the sheet 1 or not go to sheet 1 select the range so in that we required we need a second column that is employee name means second column give to comma zero so one sheet completed again comma again if error see you can observe the formula in the formula bar if error again we look up lookup value where it is our lookup value in the sheet 4 again go to the sheet 4 select 106 comma then table array go to the sheet 2 sheet 1 completed again we'll go to the sheet 2 and select the table array complete range in that also we need employee name again second column 2 comma 0 yeah sheet 2 also completed again if error we look up where is lookup value in the sheet 4? Go to sheet 4, again select 106, comma. Next to table array, sheet 3. Go to sheet 3, select complete range. 
again in this also we need second column comma zero exact match see like how many shades are there in every sheet go to the shade and select the range comma i'm writing a message not found in case that 106 is not available in all the shades then we'll write error message your wish you can write any message i'm writing simply not found close the brackets three brackets then press enter see 106 is imply six it is there in the shade two 106 is imply six again change here 108 imply eight next if i am giving 110 actually that 110 imply id is not there so we got not found so you can give any number imply id automatically the name will change see here the formula is we are writing if error function inside the if error we are writing we look up we look up see look up value table error column index number exact match this is for sheet one again we look up this is for sheet two same look up value table or a column index number same like sheet three also look up value table or a column index number see if it is not match if it is not there that look up value in all the three sheets will get not found message that is called error message because just we are giving inside the if error we look up function that's why we can write not found means any error message so like this here i'm taking only one column you go for multiple columns also and you go for use amount of data also instead of taking this small data you can apply this formula for any data so friends like this we'll do we look up with multiple shades thank you friends for watching this video and uh, please subscribe our youtube channel share these videos to your friends also